We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. And medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. To quote from Whitman, O me, O life of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, what good amid these, O me, O life? Answer, that you are here, that life exists and identity, that the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. The powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? Nanu, nanu. be able to skip through the fields of aluminum again, picking little Tupperware buds. <laughs> and look up at those 18 moons. Orc has 18 moons? Oh, yes. That's why all of our coyotes have laryngitis. <laughs> it's real strange. I see them at night going... Ah. It started off as a... It was a, a guest shot on Happy Days because Gary Marshall's kid had seen Star Wars and asked his dad if there could be a, an alien on on Happy Days. And I, well, I wish I was in the room when Gary's going, I don't know. <laughs> Aliens in the 50s, it's a little early for that now, or the 60s, but it was a gift. It was like this yeah. amazing, I, I, I won the lottery. It you was incredible. Really easy, easy. Oh. Oh, damn. Come down. Oh. Oh. oh, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my God, it's clotted. Oh God, there she is. A lovely, full-figured gal, kind of like a Scottish piñata, really. <laughs> Finding the voice was the hardest part, because initially I made her sound like Margaret Thatcher, and I, that would probably scare the hell out of children. <laughs> Go to bed, child, or I'm going to fire a cruise missile. Don't be afraid. <laughs> but I, one time I had a wonderful thing. I got to dress up as her, and we were shooting in San Francisco, and I walked into this sex shop, and I went up to the, the counter and went, Excuse me, that double-headed dildo behind the counter there. <laughs> Yes. Could you have one without so many veins? Thank you. Oh. 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 Yes. My first day as a woman. Getting hot flashes. I love to be here with David Letterman. Thank you very much. Huh? There is a joy tonight here. Ha, 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 ha. I'll give you opera. I love it now. David Letterman. Joy to be with my man, doing what he can. David is the only one. We are to have some fun. <laughs> everybody! Everybody! Yeah. Everybody! Joy to be with And now... When was the last time you did regular television work? It was 32 years ago, Dave. 32 years ago. 32 years ago, there were only three networks back then. <laughs> and it was wonderful. And I have a little f a fun fact for the folks at home. David was actually on Mark and Mindy a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. People gasping. Yeah. Actually gasping. <laughs> what, what, was, uh, your day, what were your days in television like then compared to what we're experiencing now? Um, I don't remember a lot because I was on everything but skates back then. <laughs> Is that, now, is that true? Very much so. I'm, thank God that TMZ didn't exist back then, because I would have been 24 hours. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Hey, nice to be you. <laughs> it was just like, it was so rough. One time I came in, I was so hungover, the director gave me notes. He would go like, Robin, <laughs> wake up. We want you on that side of the stage. Mark calling Orson. Awesome. I'm in Orson. Awesome. 
Mork calling Orson. Come in, Orson. What did you learn this week, Mork? Well, this week, sir, I learned to see by closing my eyes. Have you been smoking your socks again, Mork? Oh, no, sir. I met a man with no eyes who saw beauty everywhere. Are there many people on Earth without sight? Oh, quite a few, sir. And generally, they're looked upon as being handicapped. Are people on Earth born with handicaps? Some are. But others create their own by giving up on themselves. You really have learned to see, haven't you, Mark? Oh, better than ever, sir. There's so much in life for us to sense and enjoy if we just wouldn't be so blind to it. Good night, sir.